Inside Houdini, we can create and use, for example, the packet primitives. What is it, the packet primitives? When we work here, for example, we have the more geometry, and in this geometry, we have the number of polygons is different. And Houdini for create like more software or 3D software for create and generate this geometry take a few time. When we can come here, for example, we add the last node is attribute delete with the color because I want uh, all in gray. Okay, and then we can say why we, we want all in gray, but we can also create the new object and we can say out geometry. And this geometry, we can go here and check the properties like the information. Inside the information, you can find a lot of information, for example, how much memory Husini used. And in this case, use 262.19 megabytes, for instance, for create that. And the last cook, is the time for generate on this machine. Generate this geometry is 0 0.25 milli, minimum s s seconds, okay? It's very fast, but it's, it's the time he's cooking for create that. However, when you work sometimes, and dear, more important is time dependent, no. What is it time dependent? Time dependent is the time for create and uh, um, generate in every frame. There is some effects in Houdini need to create, for example, the particles, or for example, the dynamics, or for example, some uh, groups. is need to create every frame and need to update your system, okay? So is time dependent? Yes. So every time is dependent by the time for create that. Also here, we don't have any kind of um, icon like this. This is more important now to understand this fact of the memory and the time for cooking. And this is like, uh, you can see also here, the points, you are 1,000 and uh, 1 million, sorry, and uh, 1,018, etc., etc., points and primitives and vertices. And polygons there is a lot a lot of the our geometry we can move around in another software maybe you can move it and you can freeze for one second and then move it or and this is very complex to to use okay sometimes it's, it's uh, good to use that and stop it in Udini you can use for example another way for create the this kind of geometry but more light but more faster to cooking, more light to your memory. And this kind of geometry, it's the packet geometry. What he do, essentially, Houdini, is take this geometry and consider it the geometry like one point. So every geometry is become one point, so it's very fast to use it. But you see the geometry. Where is the, uh, the, where is the magic? Where is the... The great magic. The magic is uh, because he convert for you in uh, like the points, and you see only the points. Maybe it's very fast to see that. So we can create the packet geometry with, for example, the pack. We have the pack, and we have another sub is the symbol. What is the difference? The difference is this, it's not only for create the packet, but you can create this, usually we can use that for create the fracture elements, and usually it's very comfortable for fracture, because it's uh, take, for example, the inside group and you can, uh, the output group is create also, but we can talk about that in another story. However, here you can have also the create packet geometry and the same you have here, but by default it's taken, it's checked. Here you can choose if you, if you want to create it, but this is one way for create, for example, and this is another way for create that. However, if I go here and assign that here, 
and I can go here I have a, automatically it's created the geometry and he's he take your pivot location in centroid what he do he take this geometry for example this pig head and is uh, bring the centroid on here the point is in the middle here you can see for example we have the full geometry like display and here point cloud bounding box and centroid you can say centroid and now you don't see nothing okay you can go to click on points bounding box okay you see here it's only one bounding box okay centroid and full geometry it's a cooking all geometry okay but the difference is that here I have for example this megabyte and here I have 7 kp it's very fast and it's very fast also to cooking okay mm, take a, a few moments for cooking but it's very light and you can use that for light and for render for example but not only for render but uh, also in the rendering uh, when you have uh, for example the old machine or you need to you don't have more RAM for example on your workstation when you work it's more important to save your memory so with the package geometry you can save memory why you and also here you can say have only one point okay why I have only one point respect to one million here and why uh, the reason it's very fast here because uh, here I have the loop and the loop is created in uh, automatically more uh, it's like uh, create one copy but if you for example create another example with uh, the copy I have only the big head big head if I go to see the our information I have this okay this information here I can close that and now I can also use the packet take this and I want to go to see the packet I have only one point okay because it's take like one point there is a very big difference because here I have only one point for my geometry for this system for my this system and I have a, a lot of points here and uh, or here a lot of points okay there is a very very big difference and this is very good for working because it's work very fast for work for you uh, and uh, it's very comfortable because you can uh, uh, work with a lot of geometry and random this also render is very comfortable because save more time and save more uh, memory you can also here I say we can use also here we can go here tuck here and we can also use the assemble and in assemble but just check the create packet geometry and we can see I have a lot of number because there is a few difference because he take the geometry like the separate elements and not this is one element but he take the number of copy and he take and create only one point this is another way for created in fact you see uh, you have a packet of fragments okay because consider it all your geometry like one piece of the fracture element and it take and create the geometry like this but this take uh, a few memory is not to take a lot of memory for generate it this is another aspect now i want for example apply the random color like before okay with the packet i can't do that why i can do that because here for example um, for example, I can here go attribute brand goal. And I can recall here the snipper, my random color. And I see it's not happy. It's not happy because he considerate 
all element it's one point it's every time every element is uh, is like one geometry okay so the color is applied to all element in the same way okay now here I have the effects of light by default but uh, uh, trust me if you I can also don't use the light you see the all element it's the same color for apply the different color you need to unpack your geometry for unpack your geometry you can use the unpack and then i can apply my color and you see here now it's apply the color random okay I have a different color here for position and everything is changed in the time, okay? So this is uh, one way you can open your packet and then you can also pack again. With the pack system you have the geometry is very fast because it's become the points and you can work very light on your, for example, also for rendering. This is a very nice types you can use it. Sometimes it's very good for create, maybe you can create some copies, some elements, like uh, also I think here, you have the pack and the instance. You can create your pack instance uh, with your geometry here, where you have to copy two points very fast. So create it for you. And when you export, for example, some simulation with more geometry, if you pack it, you have the geometry is very light for use and for rendering.